And it's such a joy, as always, for all of us as friends to be under one roof together, celebrating each other and recommitting ourselves to the work that needs to get done. And it's wonderful to be here for the re-election of the great John Burton. Yeah. I've known John for many years, and John never slows down. He never stops fighting. He is a public servant to his core. And as we all know, John Burton never self-censors. <laughs> And with a similar style, our other great leader, Governor Jerry Brown. I'll tell you, I see Governor Brown traveling up and down this state, laser focused, fighting for California families. And three years ago, California critics were writing us off. And California Democrats, you proved them wrong. With the leadership of this governor and this team, we pulled California out of a staggering $27 billion deficit. And with Prop 30, California Democrats showed the whole nation we don't have to accept a mindless tug of war on the issue of revenue and spending. This year, California Democrats can proudly say for the first time in 10 years, we have a balanced budget in the state of California. And of course, we hear all the time, so goes California, goes the rest of the nation. And we see it with the historic Prop 8 case. If decided the right way, this California case will establish the right of every American to marry the person they choose. And I'll share with you, I was at the U.S. Supreme Court last month, and some had the gall to say that California had an obligation to defend Prop 8. But when I ran for Attorney General, I promised we would never stand in the chapel door. We said, we don't need to read the polls, we need to read the Constitution. We said, the state of California should not and will not stand in defense of any law that deprives people of their fundamental rights. So we not only refused to defend Prop 8, the state of California proudly filed a friend of the court brief in support of marriage equality. And I'll tell you, here's what's most outrageous about our opponent's argument. They want to tell the 50,000 California children of loving same-sex couples that their families don't count as real families. So the message to these families and these children, if they want their fundamental rights, they're going to have to wait. Wait and let the states figure it out. Wait and let the political process run its meandering course. Wait until the majority gets comfortable with the rights of a minority. But we know justice cannot be served cold. We know each day is not equal. Dr. King said it best. The word wait rings with a piercing familiarity to those who have long been denied their fundamental rights. We know, we know wait is just a substitute for never. And Democrats, we know it's not just about marriage equality. We hear them saying the same word over and over again. They say it 
to our immigrant communities. Immigrants just need to go back where they came from and wait. They say the same thing to our workers. Workers need to wait. Be patient. Wait for those record profits to trickle down to your families. They say it to women who are now earning only 77 cents on the dollar. Wait, someday you'll catch up. They say it to our students. We can't afford to invest in your future. No, not this year. You'll have to wait. They even say it about climate change. Wait for more evidence, they say. What, do they want us to wait for all the glaciers to disappear? So, let's make this the year. We say, California Democrats, we say, the waiting is over. Whatever the Supreme Court decides, it's time, it's time for marriage equality. We need to tell Congress, this year, this month, it's time, it's time for comprehensive immigration reform. It's time to stand with the people of Newtown for common sense gun laws. <laughs> Democrats, it's time to stand up for workers and collective bargaining rights. It's time to stand up for our women and lead the fight for reproductive freedom. And Democrats, this generation cannot accept being the last in school funding. It's time we build on what we accomplished with Prop 30 and we make California first again. Democrats, let's make this the year. We don't take wait for an answer. Now is the time. Thank you.